Welcome to Chicken Lady Storytime. I'm so excited to have you here for some clucktastic tales and adventures. Gather round, my fine feathered friends. Get ready to be whisked away to a world of enchantment and laughter. It's Chicken Lady Storytime. Today is Mama Hen's first outing with her chicks. Come along and meet the Cornish hens. They're not the prettiest in the farmyard. And let's get to know beautiful chicken. Is she next in line for the throne? And visit the little chick that can't walk. Let's go see the chickens. This morning, Mother Hen has decided to take her chicks out of the run for the first time so that they can start free ranging. She uses different sounding calls and alerts to let the babies know when she has found food. Um, she also has a call when she wants them to follow her or if there's danger. So she constantly is communicating with them and they will follow her. Um, when she finds something good that they can eat, she'll hold it up and let them see it and take it out of her mouth. And that's how she teaches them what plants and insects they can eat and she will walk them around the yard. She probably will not go far from the coop since this is their first time out. And also while she's out, of course she has a rooster that is in tow following her and making sure that they are safe while they're out. That's the second mom. She keeps making a loud call. I'm wondering if she doesn't like the other mother being out of the coop around her babies because she's still caring for hers. Hey you, you gonna pick on my sweater? And so um, that could be it, I'm not sure because these are all of hers and she's still out here with them. So maybe she just doesn't want the other mom out here right now. She's still out here free ranging with her babies and they're all out there together. That white rooster is hanging out with them, hanging out with mom. So I, I think that that would be an educated guess is that this mother wants all of the attention to be on her. There appears to be some kind of courtship going on between this rooster and this mom. Um, I've never seen this before, but he keeps flashing his wings and um, puffing up his feathers, and they're making calls to each other and hanging around each other really close. He's standing next to her with his wings down um, in a very kind of formal stance right there in front of her. Yeah, there he goes. He's flashing his wings again. There he goes again. It's definitely some sort of um, display and um, she keeps calling out to him. He is flapping his wings again and um, kind of moving in close to her. And yeah, she just submitted to him. And now little cutes is running over there. Um, but he is staring him down and keeping him away from her. So I think we have a new couple on the farm. Let's meet the Cornish hens. Um, this is the brown Cornish hen. As you can see, um, she's very small. That is a regular sized chicken. So she is a very small chicken. Um, she has a very kind of compact body style. And she's also very flighty. She gets scared very easily. There is also a white Cornish hen. And these two are sisters. And where one is, the other one is not far behind. They're not the prettiest chickens on the farm. They're very stout and muscular, but they are not on the bottom of the pecking order. They definitely have their own rank 
within the community. The roosters all really like them. And a lot of the babies that have hatched recently have been these two. Um, the other moms were sitting on their eggs as well as their own. Here we can take a close look at the white Cornish hen. You can see that she has a very long neck and that her feathers are very close to her body. She is not very fluffy and she doesn't have the fluffy bottom that a lot of the other chicken breeds have. So her bottom is a little bare. They normally are not very aggressive towards any of the other chickens. They tend to stick to themselves. Um, they do hang out with the other chickens, um, like this little Cornish hen right now is um, eating with this larger hen, and they all seem to get along just fine. Uh, we have the two Cornish hen sisters in here, the white one and the brown one, that is sitting on the duck eggs. So I'm just gonna continue to watch her to see if, uh, if that will work and if she'll be able to hatch duck eggs. All of that commotion was my white Cornish hen telling beautiful chicken that she wanted to sit there to lay her egg. And she's higher in the pecking order than beautiful chicken, so she has to move and let the Cornish hen take her place. Let's go check on the little chick who can't walk. We need to take her outside into the sunshine. Oh goodness, you're way up high. You're way up high and you're trying to move that little leg. Don't fall down, you're gonna tumble. You're gonna take a tumble. Are you gonna be able to do it? You're balancing on just that one leg. Yeah. And what's that little, little crazy leg doing back there? Look at that little crazy leg. What's going on with that crazy leg? Oh, you did it, you moved it. You did it, you moved your little leg. See, look at you. You're awfully close to the edge though. You make me nervous sitting there. You could you could easily lose your balance. And then you would you would tumble down onto this pillow. Well, luckily you wouldn't get hurt, but still, I mean, you're right on the edge. <laughs> you're living on the edge. Yes, you are. Don't fall down. So you can see I, I kind of hold the little chick that can't walk. Um, I kind of hold her next to the water because she has trouble balancing to get something to drink. But if I kind of hold her, just put my hand under to help her balance, then she can get a little something to drink. Hmm. She does tend to get it in her nose. She always seems to sneeze after she drinks something. Are you going to get something else to drink, huh? There you go. There you go. There you go. Maybe one day you'll be able to do this all by yourself without me helping you. Yeah. What do you think? You gonna get some more? It's all right. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I'm holding you. Go ahead. There you go. Hey, Gary. What are you doing out there? What are you doing? Were you hunting something? You want, are you, you want some lunch? Are you hungry? You want a can? Okay. Okay, Gary's getting his lunch. Flossie is getting her a drink of water. Hey Flossie, what are you doing? What you want? You want something? What do you want, Floss? Do you want a treat? Oh yeah, she wants a treat. Do you want to do a trick for your treat? She's like, okay. Okay, so let's do your trick. Let's come over here. We're gonna do it a little different. Okay, sit on your bed. Sit, sit, good girl. Stay. This time I'm going to hide behind the sofa and see if she stays. Nope, she didn't do it. <laughs> no, Floss. You have to stay to get the treat. Let's try it again. Let's see if you can do it this time. 
All right, come here. Now sit. 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 There we go. Good girl. Stay. I've only ever walked away from her. I've never actually hidden behind. No, she. when I come over here, she won't do the trick. So we're going to have to work on that a little bit. But you did good. There you go. We'll work on that. You have to stay no matter if you can see me or not. You still have to stay. That's the trick. We'll try it again later. After lunch, I caught these two on the outside sofa. Um, Gary, my cat, always acts like he is very annoyed by with floss, but I think he doesn't mind if she cleans his fur. It's time to feed the chickens. I always keep some hard-boiled eggs um, in the refrigerator, and I will take them out and give it to the chickens as a treat. I've come out with the eggs, and they, they're already starting to take notice. Um, everybody's starting to run over here because they're used to me bringing them little treats outside. So, for, because these are eggs and they're kind of moist, I'm going to feed them on the grass so that it doesn't pick up so much of the um, the run litter that's in their chicken room. So, here we go. And all the chickens are coming out from the woodwork, basically. Um, <laughs> they've all been kind of out and about, but when they see that I'm throwing treats out here, everybody comes. Love is definitely in the air with my blonde hen. Her name is Beautiful Chicken. And I have seen her and my head rooster, his lordship, hanging out a lot together while Molly is in the coop or in the run. You can tell that she is definitely watching him and he is definitely watching her. And although she may be acting like she's over there talking with her girlfriend, she's actually keeping her eye close on him. She's stepping in front of him and delicately nipping at the leaves on the, on the branches, trying to catch his attention. And it really seems to be working. Here they are perched together inside the run while Molly is in the coop. They spend a lot of time together whenever she's not around and right now they're sitting here and they're pruning themselves and spending time together. The two of them have been standing over here in the shade together and um, kind of having a little bit of a peaceful moment. However, it does look like um, his lordship has kind of moved away from Beautiful Chicken and um, she appears to be kind of uh, moving off into the background and I'm not sure why. Oh, wait a minute. It's Molly. So Molly has come out to break it up and of course now that Molly's outside, he's going to follow her. For the past four days, a fox has been coming out of the woods and has been hunting my chickens. My second mom to hatch chicks this year was eaten by the fox. Five of the newly hatched chicks were eaten by the fox. He tried to carry away one of my brown hens, but I ran out in time and he dropped her and she's okay. The fox also grabbed beautiful chicken by her tail feathers and tried to drag her away, but she fought him and got away, but he pulled out all of her beautiful tail feathers and all she has left is just this little tiny puff. What I do during the day is I just try to come out here and check this fence line. There are some places back here where the fox has been getting in. I mean, I'm sure he could dig under this fence and get in anywhere he really wanted to, but there are two places I know for a fact that he has been getting in. So one of them, I've put this big stone and threw some weeds that I pulled up 
right here just so I can see if there's any disturbance to see if it's moved or sh you know shuffled about that would mean that he's trying to get back in and there's another spot back here way back here and kind of this little spot here so I put rocks here and I lean these sticks up against it too so that if I come back here and the the sticks are moved or fallen I'll know he's been back here again so as you can see most all the chickens are staying in the run and I have opened it up so they can come over into the field over here with these goats but because of the fox issue everybody is a little leery to go into the back and here are all of the the young ones, their mom, the second mom, she was killed. But luckily they, they're old enough that, you know, they're able to know what to do. Mom taught them, you know, what to eat, how to forage. So they're, they're doing really well. They stay together and I watch out for them and try to give them extra treats since their mom's gone. Hey, Maul. How you doing? Luckily, Molly was in the coop when the fox had um, attacked. For the time being, it's going to be safest for the chickens to stay in the run or inside the coop. Um, I probably will only let them out um, a couple times a day after I've checked the fence lines and just make sure that I don't see that fox anywhere because this is going to be an ongoing issue with this fox because they're, they're pretty intelligent and they're also very sly. So it's probably time for me to hunt a fox. Thank y'all for stopping by. I'll see you again real soon. For more Chicken Lady Storytime, 